Hi, and congratulations on your new ProTex safe. My name is Kim, and I'm going to be showing you how to program your safe. Today I'm going to be talking about the HZ30, the HZ34, and the HZ53, which all share the same fingerprint technology. After you unpack your safe, be sure that you carefully put it on a flat surface that is high enough where you can comfortably learn how to program your safe. Before you throw away any of the packaging material, you need to locate the red accessory box, which is embedded inside the packaging foam, and set it aside until later. Next, I will show you how to open the safe. First, you need to push the wake up button, put your finger on the scanner. When the green light comes on, you can open the safe. To lock the safe, you simply close it, turn the handle, Wiggle it, and the safe is locked. Now I'm going to show you how to enroll your finger. As you can see, the safe is open. The bolts are out. Locate the red button in the back of the door, press it once, put your finger on the red scanner, the green beep, do it again. Once you've done two beeps, you know that your finger has been enrolled. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to test to make sure that it works. Turn the knob. My finger has been enrolled. Works perfectly. Since I've already enrolled my index finger, that is the only finger that can open up the safe. Let me show you using a different finger. Using my thumb, it won't work. Put my index finger in there the green light's on indicating that you can open up the safe. Remember, you can use up to 30 different fingerprints to program this safe. Now I'm going to show you how to use the power override, which came in the accessories box. This is to be used when the internal batteries are dead. First, you need to put four new batteries into the box. Then you can plug it into the safe and then open the safe accordingly finger on the scanner, green light comes on, safe opens up, unplug the box, and you can replace the batteries. Your safe comes with a low battery warning indicator. We have equipped this safe with low batteries so we can show you what happens when the batteries are low. Let me show you. I will open the safe like I normally would. There is the alarm. When you put your finger on the scanner, the green light goes on, you can still open up your safe. But now at least you know you need to replace your batteries. Now I will show you how to use the emergency key. But there are two things you need to remember. Never store your keys in the safe and only use a key in an emergency where your fingerprint will not open up the safe. Next, you need to remove the keyhole cover and place the key with the notch up inside the keyhole Turn it to the left and open your safe up. Now you can re-enroll your finger.